gets wild. Okay, ready. Here we go. So, uh, story number one. Uh, this was at my house, and so my house is surrounded by woods. My nearest neighbor is probably about two miles away. And, uh, yeah. And let me just tell you, um, I have been listening to a lot of Skinwalker stories, right? And I personally don't believe in, like, cryptids or supernatural. I mean, I wish they were real, but I don't believe that they are. Not bashing anyone who does. You're allowed to believe whatever you want. It's cool. Um, but even though I don't believe they exist, that doesn't mean that my imagination will not use them every single chance it gets to scare the ever-living life out of me. Wind? Please quiet down. It's pro The wind is probably so loud. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, I, uh, I, I was I was at my house, right? And I was home alone. And I have a little dachshund, and uh, he is 13 going on 14 years old. So if you want to see a picture of my dog, join the Discord, because I send pictures of all of my animals, and who doesn't love cute dogs and cats? Um, anyway, so I take my dog outside so he can go to the bathroom, and, like, I'm just kind of out there vibing, just, like, looking around, and then I look over uh, to my right side because I feel something staring at me. And I look over, and I see, oh, I was right. There was something staring at me. It was a deer. There was just a deer standing at the fence line, just staring at me. And I was like, okay, I mean, I guess the deer just isn't really used to people because there aren't many people around here, so um, that's fine. But here's the thing, we make solid eye contact for about... 30 seconds before I look away to make sure my dog didn't run off, because he likes to run off. Uh, and then I look back over, the deer is still there. It hasn't moved. It is still staring at me. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's a little weird, because deer don't usually make direct eye contact for this long. Usually they see a human and they go bolting. Especially if they're not used to humans. Um, so I look back over and I'm like, okay, uh, Dashie, that's my dog's name, I'm like, okay, Dashie, uh, it's probably time to go back inside, because I am starting to get a little freaked out. Because again, I had been listening to Skinwalker stuff, and did I know for a fact that it was just a normal deer exhibiting some weird behavior? Yes. But did my brain want it to be something else? Also, yes. So anyway, I, like, go pick up my dog, and I'm starting to, like, carry him back to the house, and I look over... And the deer is still there, and it's it hasn't moved, it's still just staring at me. And at this point you might be saying, well, if it hasn't moved, are you sure it's not like a branch or something? I'm getting to that. Um, so I get back to the door, and once I'm at the door, I look over one last time. And as I am about to go inside, the deer finally turns its head and just walks away. And I was like, well, that was weird. And then I go inside, and I lock the door, and I'm like, okay, we're not gonna go outside again, because that kind of freaked me out. Again, do I know it was just a normal deer just looking at me? Because I was also, like, singing quite- I was, like, humming my favorite song, and I guarantee it could hear me, because I'm quite loud. And it was probably like, what is that human doing? What is that sound that human is making? Yes. But good golly, did my brain want it to be, like, a skinwalker or something? <laughs> I actually told my friend about it, and they were like, Dude, it sounds like you got visited by a nature god. And I'm like, I will take that. Again, I'm still aware that it was a normal deer, but it would be cool if it wasn't, you know? So that's my first story. Um, let's see what other stories do we got. Oh, um, okay, so this w Oh, I got my wisdom teeth out. That's a story for another time. Um, <laughs> well, okay, that's a story for after this one. Um, so I was, again, home alone, and I was, like, sitting with my dog, and here's something you should know about the house that I'm in. It's a little, like, apartment that's on the second floor of a barn, so it's, like, really small, but it has a ton of skylights in it. Like, and by a ton of skylights, I mean from pretty much any room in the house, if you're on the roof, 
You can see into it. The only places you can't is the bathroom, my parents' room, and normally my room would have a skylight in it, but we covered it with cardboard because light wakes me up in the morning. So, yeah, those were the only three rooms that you could go in. However, there was a window, uh, there was like a side window in the bathroom. I don't know who did that because it wasn't any kind of like, you know, frosted glass or anything. It's just a regular window in the bathroom that overlooks the driveway. And I'm like, who, who put this next to the toilet? Why would you do that? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, anyway. Um, my room is basically the only room in the house that if I close the door, you can't see into it at all. So, <laughs> I'm sitting at the kitchen table, and I'm, you know, just having an afternoon snack. I'm, like, sitting with my dog because he likes to sit on my lap all the time. He is very much so a lap dog. Um, I'm just chilling there. And then literally right outside, right outside, I hear the weirdest scream I have ever heard in my life. And to this day, I have no idea what it was. Because, like, yes, we have cats that live basically out of the first floor of the barn. Yes, we have cats. But I know what cats sound like. And that was not a cat. That was by no means a cat. Because it almost, here's the thing, it almost sounded human. But it was still like, it was like an animal trying to imitate a human. And it was way too deep to be a cat. And like, I know we have coyotes in the area. But it was the middle of the day. So there wouldn't have been any coyotes here. So I was like, what in God's name was that? And then I'm just like, okay, um, I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen. And I'm just going to turn on a YouTube video of like a completely normal thing and not a haunted video that I like watching. And just relax and pretend I didn't hear that. Not even two minutes later, I hear... You know how like some predatory animals, like when they growl, it's kind of like... A breathy growl. I heard that. And I was like, what? What? I was so confused. And I was like, okay, now I actually am starting to freak out. Um, but like my dog, well, okay, my dog is a cat, so he can't really hear anything. <laughs> um, but like he wasn't reacting at all. And I was like, I know I'm hearing these things because I have like pretty good hearing. And then I start to hear, like, scratching outside on the walls. And I'm like, I'm going to die. I am going to, simply, I am simply going to cease existing. Um, <laughs> and then I literally, I got so freaked out, I went into my room and I closed the door. And I was like, okay, this is the only room that it cannot, like, whatever it is, can't see me. And I can't see outside. And I actually managed to go to sleep because I was really tired. Uh, yes, that's sorry. That's that was like two kind of weird things that happened that have perfectly logical explanations. But my imagination is like, but what if it wasn't? You know. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Oh, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. That was a time. Literally, I go in to get my wisdom teeth taken out. Like, um. They, like, sit me down in the chair. They put, like, this thing. I don't even know what it was. It was, like, you know the things where uh, if a person, like, passes out or something or, like, when they're taking someone in an ambulance to the hospital, they have, like, a little mask that goes over your nose and mouth to, like, give you oxygen. Yeah, it was like that, but it wasn't. It was, like, it had two tubes on either side going up to it, and it only covered my nose, and it didn't really even cover my nose. And I was, like... Okay, this is fine. Uh, it, it was, like, to give me laughing gas. And whatever. Um, so, like, the nurse puts that on, and I'm like, guess I'm gonna have to snort this because I don't want- I don't- <laughs> They had to put an IV in my arm, and I'm like, I hate needles, so I guess I'm gonna have to inhale as much of this as possible so I don't feel it. Um, it worked. <laughs> because the nurse was like, okay, give me your arm, and I was like, okay, and then she put the thing in, and I was like, 
Mm. I know it's there, but it doesn't hurt as bad as it normally does. <laughs> and then apparently they're supposed to like tell you or give you a countdown when they give you like the anesthetic. Yeah, no, they didn't give me anything. Like one minute I was talking to them, the next minute I was waking up in a chair with like a brown blanket over my legs. And they were like, okay, stay here. We're going to go like get your mom so she can drive you home. And I was like, okay. What did I do? I stood up. Not once, but twice. I was like, no one was in the room. And I was like, I want to see if I can stand up. And I did. And I was like, wow. I want to double check that I can stand up. So I did it again. And I was like, wow. I can do it. Wow. <laughs> because I'm terrible like that. And I don't listen to it. I, I'm good at giving orders. I can't take them. <laughs> so that was super fun. And literally just... Even me that was, like, just coming off of anesthetics was still like, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that really funny. Okay, that kind of brings me up to the present. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'm currently in England. So, back in my normal time zone, it is 11.46 in the morning. For me, it is 4.46 in the evening. Good god, time zones are weird actually reminds me of a video I saw where, like, this person was like, man, time zones are crazy, because, like, it could be 12 in the afternoon one place, it could be 2 in the morning somewhere else, and in America it's 1942 where women and minorities don't have rights. And I was like, yeah, you're right, time zones are whack. Because <laughs> I share that sense of humor, I think that's funny. Um, 